Welcome to Backwoods Pursuit. I'm Gabe Garish, and today I'm going to show you some custom modifications I made to the floor of the White Duck Alpha wall tent. I've seen some comments and concerns around the floor of the tent not sealing to the side walls and bugs and critters getting into the tent. We came up with a fix for that. I'm going to show you step by step what we did to solve that problem. I'll put a link to the White Duck Alpha wall tent in the description, along with a link to our social media accounts and our website, backwardspursuit.com. Go check those out. Lots of gear reviews over there. Let's get started. Now to do this modification, a couple of simple steps. We're effectively going to attach the floating ground sheet, which is what the alpha wall tents come with. We're gonna attach those to the mud flaps that curve into the interior of the tent here. We're gonna do that using Velcro. But before we get started on the Velcro, we have to make a couple of quick modifications to those mud flaps. So let's look at those first here. All right, now to go ahead and make, get this fit a little bit better, we have the mud flap here turning into the tent. And we have, of course, the leg from the tent coming down right there. Now, I found that the, the best way for this orientation is to have this loop right here on pointing toward the exterior of the tent so that when we uh, cut this vinyl flap here, it's going to give a better connection for the, the elastic strap. So we're going to cut this right, uh, not all the way to the... The, the, the canvas here, but about an inch, inch and a half away from that. And use our scissors and go ahead and cut this in as much of a straight line as we can. Again, it's not super critical, but then once we get uh, fairly close to that, I'm going to cut just a little bit of a, a V to make room for the pull. And that'll give us a little bit better fit with that pull. So cut a little bit of V there. Then we are able to come and cinch this in. It's going to be able to wrap around here. This can keep bugs out just a little bit better. But it also is going to leave room for us to still strap that down and leave for a nice connection there. All right now for the corner, again, we're going to have this pointing towards the exterior of the wall. That can allow us to latch that elastic down really nicely. Now on the corners, you're going to find a lot of extra material here. So what I found to work really well for this is to fold this underneath kind of uh, each side, but that's still going to allow you to wrap around that pole well. So fold that underneath, fold that underneath. So it's not sticking to the outside of the tent, but then also allows you to get a nice connection around the pole and keep bugs out in a better way. So once we get each of the, pull, uh, the, the mud flap here cut with each of the wall poles here, the, the alignment to keep it somewhat consistent, you're going to align each of these stakes for the mud flap with the exterior wall poles here. That will give you a, a pretty consistent alignment and then and put that in there. And then on this side here, it doesn't have to be exact, but that will give you a, a rough a point of reference as you're going all the way around the tent with those mud flap stakes. Once you have those cuts made in the mud flap, we're now going to install the Velcro both on the mud flap on and on the underneath side of the floating ground sheet. Now to install the Velcro, we're going to start here at the front door and we're going to do this section from the front door over to the corner and then the same over on this corner. We're going to cut a couple of strips of this Velcro here. I'll put a link to that in the description. If you want to go ahead and do this step, it's not necessary, but this does help seal out any bugs if you're in an area where bugs are a concern. It'll keep the floor nice and snug to that mud flap that's underneath. For orientation, we still want a little bit of this bathtub floor. That way, if water were to happen to seep underneath the tent, um, we want that to to potentially, if there is any water, and there shouldn't be, but if there were any water to come in, it wouldn't go up over the floor and then into the tent here. So we're gonna leave, we're gonna attach the Velcro a little bit back here onto the, the mud flap here, and then a little bit, a couple inches, maybe three inches or so off of the edge of the, the ground sheet itself. So it's gonna end up sitting like this, but just attached to the mud flap. So the easiest, uh, the easiest reference that you can probably, that I was able to find here, 
using our roll of Velcro is to go ahead and put this pretty close to the grommets right here. Um, so right on this side of the grommet, that's way, that way you have a reference point throughout when you're sticking this down. And it's just gonna be right in front of these grommets as you go across the entire length and width of the tent. You'll go ahead and, and attach that down right there. All right, to get the second layer of Velcro here uh, on the ground sheet, the, you know, we line the ground sheet up in the tent as we want it, fold it back, and then to make this process easy, we're going to start um, with this hook side and put this onto the ground sheet and just work our way around the entire edge of the tent. And just going to leave uh, this a little bit of a gap here so that when we fold this back over, the hook attaches to the soft side. So to do that, we'll go ahead and peel our Velcro, get that started, and line that up so that it is going to attach once this is all done and just work your way across the this section of the ground sheet pulling that the backing off of that tape and then you'll have a nice secure connection make sure there's no wrinkles in the floor here in the ground sheet otherwise you won't get as good of an adhesion and you'll pull that velcro off when you go to remove the floor so just do this work your way all the way around the whole tent all right now the last part to this is that we've got our Velcro here uh, stuck on to, this is the mud flap, and of course we got to put on the floor as well. The reality though is that this sticky uh, Velcro here is, it might last for a little while, but it is not going to stay on there permanently, no matter how good of a job you do of getting all of those wrinkles out and make sure that does really well. So ideally, if you could sew this in, so you have the ability or means to do that, that would be ideal. But if you don't, a good option also, a good cheap option is to grab a stapler, just a household stapler, and go through and staple this onto this vinyl. Yes, you're gonna be putting, a, obviously puncturing the vinyl, but this mud flap is going underneath the, the ground sheet. So it's not gonna matter as far as water tightness. And the way I wanna do this is to put one in, in this orientation right on the end. And this is gonna help keep that uh, Velcro from peeling up when I go to pull the floor out of the tent over and over because eventually that's gonna just pull itself away from either the, the mud flap here or the floor itself. So we'll do that. And then I'm gonna go about every four to six inches here and just go along, make sure that this is down onto the vinyl as good as possible and just staple that on there. This will just give this a little bit more longevity make it a little bit less of a temporary thing because if you don't do something to secure this to the vinyl other than just that sticky uh, back it's going to eventually pull out on you so if you want to make it a little bit more permanent either sew it ideally or if you can't do that don't have the means to sew this is going to work as a great option we went ahead and did that over on this side and it should work pretty nice so that is our custom modification to the floating ground sheet of the white duck alpha wall tent Hopefully that's helpful for you, but if you have any suggestions or comments to make that even better, please feel free to drop those down in the comment section. I'll put again a link to the White Duck Alpha Wall Tent down in the description for you so you can check it out for yourself. Thanks for watching here today and we will see you next time.